Jilly Black 2023 has been such a good year because it's been this just year of celebrating Julie. Wow. And learning, because you see, I'm even saying your name the proper way. Well, you're saying it the, you're saying it the Jamaican the way. The Jamaican way. Julie! Before the songs and the spotlight that made Julie an entertainment icon, she was the youngest of nine children, her parents Jamaican immigrants, who gave her her start northwest of Toronto. Right now we're at 20 Yellowstone Street. Mm -hmm. The neighborhood I grew up in from age 2 to 19. Let's go to 10 to 13. Who are you at that point? Oh, I'm a church girl. Okay. I'm First. an athlete. Amen to that. I'm the baby. And I'm the baby in, in the neighborhood. I'm free-spirited. Yeah. I feel very, very safe and loved and protected. Mm -hmm. It was super-duper safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. I want you to tell me what this season feels like, because it feels like this season has seasoning. This season, that season, I, I gotta take that. Uh, this season of my life represents a lightness, mm. really standing in my softness, femininity, smiling with my whole face. Yes. What I realized is like, okay, Julie, you can't feel guilty for feeling good. Mm -hmm. Having joy, that's where I'm at. All the other things, the career, the calling, the awards, the accolades, great. You know, LeBron, them, they're still playing ball for a ring. Yeah. Even though they don't need a dime. It's like... It's love. It's love yeah. for the love of the game. And my manager, Jason, he always says, every night's a game seven. And that's what we talk about in our peer group, in our business, and in our huddles. Like, you know what? Every day mm. is a game seven. It's an apt analogy considering one of the most impactful moments of Julie's career takes place at the 2023 NBA All-Star Game in Salt Lake City. Oh, Canada. Our home on a native land. No one was prepared for your history making, anthem changing, eye opening, conversation starting moment. Describe that for us. Three days before the anthem, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something meaningful. Right. And that's been my kind of like my mantra, my meditation. How do you make it meaningful? Mm -hmm. How do my two eyes make four? Can I be right here with mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm, my mm -hmm. presence, right? So that was okay, tick that box. Yeah. It happened, and right after I was like, where's the popcorn? Let's watch the game. I didn't realize what actually happened outside of the arena. Right. Right? right. I sleep, I wake, and my life is forever changed. And that made me think, anything that happens in life or that you're striving for, your goals, your aspirations, your dreams, it actually happens in an instant. Mm -hmm. So I often say it, it took 45 years for that instant to happen, mm -hmm. right? And so after, which is I'm still living my after, because until my number's called, I'm living my after, right? Right. And so to know that there's a different reverence through making a courageous decision, yeah. right? But it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. Yeah. Because I wanted to. In the days following, Julie was both praised and vilified. What do you want people to know about that time? I want people to know that in that time, it was an opportunity mm -hmm. rather than a challenge. This is an opportunity for a conversation. Whatever your opinion is, matters. I realize I have this, this spiritual firewall yes. that's been like protecting me and that no matter what was happening around me and around the world, that they squeeze me, goodness is gonna come out. Facts. No matter what. As I've said before, all the forces in the world are not so powerful as an idea whose time has come. The AFN Knowledge Keeper yeah. ceremony. Tell me how special that is and what that means to you. The blanket ceremony, the yeah. eagle's feather, this blanket ceremony, and what it meant to be in that space mm. was the most spiritual, delivering, mm. healing. Uh, it helped me even reposition myself spiritually as far as religion. Wow. It's like, you know, before I wouldn't let anyone put no blanket on me. I'm Jamaican. Yeah, don't yeah. put no blanket on me. Don't burn no smoke around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't take no feather out no bird. <laughs> right? Okay. But, but the meaning, yeah. it's the highest honor. It's like the Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So shout that, out see to why I said that this season has seasoning? It has seasoning. Because there's so many different versions that you offer us. All of them were explored and expanded upon this year. That's a True. beautiful thing, you know, Julie Black. Thank you. You don't just look good, you know. Thank you. Cool, no, <laughs> <laughs> So 
2023, what a season. God is shining through you. Yes. You got the blanket, you got the feather. I'm grateful. Thank you for welcoming me to your hearts. I want to highlight professionally and then a highlight personally. Yeah. So I have to stitch a few things together Let's professionally. Go. So this is a Julie Black special, you know. <laughs> saying yes to do the anthem after I stopped singing the anthem for three years. Oh, okay. And so when it came around for me to do the national anthem at the All Star game, I had a decision to make that was very personal. Yeah. And I had to ask my friends who are indigenous, this make, like, I have to go do that work. So yeah. that might be more of a, per, a personal one, but I, I kind of I build a bridge, I stitch a bridge together on mm -hmm. that, that uh, putting my ego and pride to the side and recognizing that it's bigger than me. Yeah. So that was definitely huge. Um, I'm going to say legacy, legacy awards. Thank you, God, for turning my pain into purpose. Mm. Being recognized by us, for us, yeah, yeah. it's a first. And I can't come from Jana Finch, you know? So That is it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the merch. Okay, yes. it's coming. I will say this, though. Let me say this. My mom would really focus on who we are. It doesn't matter how much talent we had. So I still have a hard time receiving awards, hmm. like to this day. Receiving awards, receiving compliments, like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working through that in therapy. But you know what I love? When we're in conversation, you are so willing to share that honesty to be able to say, this part of my life is under construction. This part of it is glowing. Yeah. It's so meaningful. It just makes for such a better conversation and it's such a great offering Thank to give you. your friends. Thank you. Thanks, Ty. Thank Appreciate you. that. Can I have a hug? Of, of course. Hug. Are you kidding me? It's a hug time. <laughs> oy, 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 oy. I want you to explain to me what allyship really should look like. Allyship is an action that is done in private and you need no accolades for it, you know, and you're ready to sacrifice. That's why I often say, will you be my ally or will you be an accomplice? Because <laughs> we're both gonna take the fall. What were some of the, the benefits of making that courageous decision and starting a lot of meaningful conversations? One of the biggest benefits was me sitting in patience Mm. to wait for indigenous folks to say they're ready to have me become an ally, to label me an ally before I could label myself an ally. There's lots of learning that came from that in how I posture and how I move through life and I give people, you know, titles. I was giving away titles. Yeah. Yeah, because you, what have you done for that title? And when Julie isn't advocating, she's motivating with her health and wellness group 100 Strong and Sexy. 100 Sexy and strong? 100 strong and sexy. The men always say sexy and strong. True Why story. Why do say sexy first? The men, the men always say sexy first. My fault. What is it? And how did that come to be? 2018, a okay. year after my mom passed away, I was still in deep, deep depression. Yep. And I heard an audible feeling say, don't let grief pin you down before you decide to get up. My friend Alex actually is like, why don't you do a 100-day challenge? Just put it out there on Instagram. And uh, 56 women joined. Yeah. And it was all women, didn't have to be all women, but all yeah. the women showed up. I don't know where the dudes can, but anyway. <laughs> in the end, it created community. And what we have in common is health and wellness and being able to realize that it's okay to not be okay. And so fast forward five years later, we're still going strong, yeah. still going sexy. Yeah. I would like to hear you speak on giving yourself flowers. It's one thing to get flowers from other people, but talk to me about why it's important to give yourself your own flowers. Well, for me, for someone who was raised uh, in a single parent home, mm -hmm. oftentimes I used to outsource validation. Hmm. I used to outsource a sense of belonging yep. and security. And so now I'm at, in the space of my life where I'm able to self-validate I'm able to, to really let myself know that though you've been, I've been going through life as the healer yeah. and I could heal myself using my very own gift and that's my flowers. A little while back, last summer I think, you introduced us to a, a friend, sort of, I think you called him eye candy. So he's one of my, my awesome friends and he's great eye candy. This is Tashan <laughs> Carter. I saw you again on a red carpet uh -huh. with him again, but this time, you guys are holding hands. You trying to get tea? I'm in happy. Are you in happy? I'm in happy. Oh my gosh, happy is queer. Is what this? <laughs> Electromagnetic energy. I got the, the, the angels are looking out for me. They're Yo. like, 
like I'm not going Tabloids. for the, the clickbait or uh -huh. whatever. Mm -hmm. But I love love. I love and the way I seen love. you grip up the man's hand on the red carpet, I'm like. But, but why are you looking at us gripping hand though? Because he's great. He as is. an individual. He yeah. is, he's great. He is great, and you're great as an individual. Yes. So when you see two great individuals being great, mm -hmm. and they happen to be connected by hands, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm just like, I have great curiosity. You know what, I'll, be, I'll say this, for the okay. first time in my life, yeah. I've been able to get to know somebody and build friendship. Mm. Like, friendship is, like, that's the seed that's in the ground. No one knows what it is or what it isn't. Right. Listen, <laughs> my, my only intention here is to say, from observation, we're yeah. looking back at the year, why shouldn't that be a part of this year? Uh, ah, why, why shouldn't that be one of the... The, the, the seasoning. The, the seasoning. The ingredients. In this I season. love that. Like, like, love is easy. Love is easy. I love... But happy isn't always there in the love. That's a whole other show. That's a whole... I've never said that in my life. That is so factual because you should be able to see something in everyone to love them. Yeah. But to be happy with them? I know. That's different. Right? I'm happy for you. Thank Can you. Can I hug you? Yeah. Final <laughs> hug for today. Oh, I love you. Like the video? Then hit the button. Or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.